I think I think the Venn diagram goes there. Everybody watch that watched you UPN and uh, Spice users. That's the same circle overlay, I think. They like that. What kind of cigarettes do you guys like to smoke? Blunts or yeah. what? Will you like camels? Three oh fives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're trying to stream the show tonight. This is, this is dress rehearsal for the streaming set session of the show. We're looking for the link. You want to share my link? That seems so personal, doesn't it? You want to share my link? I'm on Craigslist later. Come over and buy my lava lamps. And you know what I mean by that? I want to share this link with you. God damn it. God, you know, it's, it's, it's like... I was, oh man, give it up for Billy, by the way, clap for Billy. This is the most produced open mic in this hemisphere, and you know what I mean? Like, this, this is fucking amazing. Um, it's nothing better than overheard conversations. I love that shit. One time I was at, I was, I was, uh, in the bathroom at this little restaurant, and it was a tiny restaurant, but the bathroom was next to the table, and I overheard a couple fighting, and they said, and I quote, I, I hated spending time with your mother over Thanksgiving. And I could hear him just shoveling pasta in their fucking mouth. I hated seeing your parents on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Is anybody... Can you be mad at somebody and enjoy food at the same time? Like, have you ever had a fight with somebody while you're eating? Where you're like, God, this steak is fucking great. I can't fucking stand the way the way you clip your toenails every morning. It's like the first thing I hear in the morning is the clipping sound of the fucking clippers. Clip, 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 clip. Nah, I gotta turn my fucking camera on. doing shit. <laughs> you know what I did today? I helped my mom in her garden. You know, that's not a euphemism for anything you fucking tell kids out there. Oh, you helped your mom with her garden? Mm. I had to trim a bunch of the, um, <laughs> shut up, perps. I know, I know. I had to trim a bunch of the, no, 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 of the, the, the Sega palms, if you, you know. God, I hate how, the, this whole state, you can't say anything without sounding like a pervy. I was trimming the Sega palms. So that, I don't want to involve my mother in that story, goddammit. I was trimming Sega palms today. Does anyone have those in their yard? Used to? Sega palms? What the fuck is wrong with those goddamn plants? I hate those so much. They look like something that came out of, uh, who directed Alien? Who directed that movie? Uh, come on. Ridley Scott. It looks like those fucking Sega palms. It's like something came out of Rid Ridley, Ridley Scott's asshole. Hi, I came out of Rid Ridley, Rid Ridley Scott's fucking pee hole, man. And now I'm going to be a horrible Sega palm. Everything's sharp. Is it poisonous? What the fuck? Hey, Jesus, what's with the fucking Sega palm, man? It's poisonous and it's sharp. Wow. And I don't even know, are they that nice to look at? Who's like, what's the appeal of this plant? It hurts me. It hurt me today. The Sega Palm got me right here. Right in my solar fucking plexus. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sucks. Okay. You ready to do an open fucking mic? I'm just kidding. No music. Okay. Um. Thanks for coming out to this mic. Thank you, comedians, for coming out. You know, I know there's lots of, you could be telling jokes right now in any number of breweries, probably, who you know, where do we do shows everywhere in Pensacola now? You could go do a show probably at a um, steam bath somewhere. I'm gonna start a show at a steam bath. Do, do we have public steam baths here? Is that a thing we have? We should. We should, right? You like that? I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> The bucket's wet, so I can't really pull a name out of the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> the bucket's wet? <laughs> That's the name of the show from now on, The Bucket's Wet. You like that? Yeah. Okay. The bucket's wet, guys. 
<laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Bucket's Wet. I'm your host, Chuck Woolery. Reach into my pocket and pull out a marble. Where's marble soft? Okay. Your first comic coming to the stage. Uh, this guy is he's a good friend of mine. I haven't done comedy with him in a bit. Um, I miss hanging out with the guy and uh, listening to his bullshit while he drives. Uh, this is the worst introduction ever. He's the best guy. Give it up for Zach Van Gessen. Glad for Zach. Oh, look at that. You know, I think we have the same flannel, by the way. He's stealing my style. Fuck that. Don't jack my style, bro. Zach Van Gessel. Hey, guys. Give it up for Ryan and Billy. Throwing this thing together. And give it up for uh, Whiskey Runners. Yeah. Whiskey runners. That's what that's that's a good name for a bar when you're trying to escape your wife and drink whiskey. I'm running to the whiskey. I'm a risky whiskey runner. I'm a risky bitch. Is that what you is, is this what is you do? Anybody here? Is this what you do? You interrupt and laugh during people's yeah, sets so on the home mic? You like it. What? What were you gonna say? Does anybody like it? I just wanna know, is there anybody cheating on someone here tonight? <laughs> hey, is anyone cheating on anybody here tonight? Right? That's a good question. Anybody doing some hoeing? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> gardening. Not with my mother. The best place to go to cheat on your uh, your significant other is definitely a bar on a on a uh, Tuesday, because no one's you know everyone who's responsible won't tell on you. Yeah. Nobody's saying because they're not here. Shut your fucking mouth. All right. Okay. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start telling some jokes. Um. I got a few new ones, so I'm sorry, guys. Uh. New ones. Clap for a few new ones. Come yeah. on. Off the stage. Oh, um, by the way, uh, just real quick, I have to say this: when you're entering the stage, please do like Zachy did. You gotta come to the green room and up the abortion steps. Don't come through the front steps because this is it's anti-ocean. So. And also, also kiss the guy on the steps, uh, on the lips. Kiss him. Yeah, yeah. He, okay, all right. There's a guy back there. Just close he's your eyes. He's, he's cute. All right. He's uh, he's it looks like he looks like me, but cuter. Which I don't know how oh, that's geez. possible. Squirt, the, try not to squirt, everybody. Is there a time limit? Because you're interrupting me. I have that time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Zach's time starts now. <laughs> that's been it. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Um, I've always wanted a bar that I can go to, kind of like Cheers, you know? You walk in and everyone knows your name, you know? And uh, I turned 21, started doing comedy, and then I had that for a long time. I walk in, they know exactly what I want to drink, just some nondescript beer, you know? I sit down next to Jennifer Aniston or whoever, have a good time, right? But like that, that feeling, that good feeling that you have whenever like you, like the bar knows you is very fleeting because you realize that you have a problem if everyone knows your name at a bar. You know where else everyone knows your name? AA. Because you have to mention it. Okay. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been flossing my teeth again recently. Uh, didn't realize how much blood I had stuck in there. I had blood stuck in my teeth. Blood? Yeah, because I didn't floss for a long time, and it's like gingivitis kind of thing. I think I don't know. I like that a a joke. Thanks. Okay, I won't I won't tell the second one ever again. That. <laughs> no, I do. Sorry about my facial hair. I know it looks like I'm taking hormones and they're working, but I'm a guy and they're not. <laughs> What's your pronoun? Dude. <laughs> Dude. Did y'all hear about the Circle K employee who got lit on fire? <laughs> All right, no, it sounds like something out the Bible, but I promise you it's not. Uh, yeah, no, on W Streets, if you're familiar with Pensacola at all, there's a W Street, and it's, uh, it doesn't stand for winning, I promise you that. W Street is more like uh, whores. You can find whores on W Street. But no one is doing well. Yeah. Right. Um, w and what? <laughs> fuck you, W and stop interrupting me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this gas station employee, she... Um, she was just doing her job. There was a uh, there was a homeless person outside, and she was panhandling for money. The employee walks out and says, "You can't do that here. Please leave the premises." 
Uh, so the panhandler took, takes it upon herself. If you're wondering, it's a woman on woman crime, so you know it's a wash. No one got arrested. Uh, obviously, just kidding. The black one did, but okay, nope, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Zach is banned. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm dead. Uh, but let me finish this one real quick. <laughs> so the panhandler, uh, she's absolutely the premise of this. Uh, she does, but comes back uh, like two hours later with a gas canteen, you know. And she, uh, she fills up the gas canteen at the height of inflation. I guess she used all of her money she made that day to get a gallon of gas. And goes into the Circle K and proceeds to throw gasoline on the attendant who kicked her out. Doused her, as the article says. Um, then she starts to light matches. You can read this in the fucking Pensacola News Journal. <laughs> Lights matches, multiple matches, not one match. <sighs> okay, everything's done. She's chasing her around the store, multiple matches. I mean, leave it to a fucking Circle K employee to ignore you while they're trying to get their attention, you know? Anyways, the woman is the woman looks like Ghost Rider now. Uh, she's on fire. Everyone's still in line waiting to buy beer, you know? Jeez. And uh, she gets away, actually. Uh, she gets away, she uh, she runs, and they the cops find her because they're using uh, canines to find her. Uh, probably because she smells like gas, they find her food very quickly. I don't really have an ending to that joke, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just be careful, you know, around gas stations. You never know. You never know. I make, I make so much money now that I'm not even worried about inflation of gas. I don't even care. I'll pour it on the ground. I'll put it in my shoes. I run on gas. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that joke. In fact, you guys laughed at it. <laughs> I think you should act that out. Like, no, yeah, should I? Should I bring gas on stage and act it out? <laughs> <laughs> my feet are on fire! <laughs> Has anyone ever masturbated on the internet for profit? Be honest. I would watch. I would, I'm just saying. I would tune in. I'm funny? Let's see how funny we can be later. We get silly, you know what I'm saying? Silly in the streets. Soft in the sheets. I'm sorry, I drink too much. <laughs> I've always felt weird about people with jacking off on, you know, cam, right? <laughs> I don't have anything against them. I just, not, it, I am a little judgmental. It's, it's not like I'm saying, how dare you? It's like, how could you, right? It's different. I'm like a, I'm like a dad, kind of, like a step, not creepy. It's like my daughter. I stepped on it, right? You know? <laughs> if you think about it, you know, she like, if she takes that money and goes to college with it, Kind of hit her dad a little bit. She has hundreds of dads, and one very disappointed one. That's a, uh, a tough scholarship program, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clint's, Clint's University, or uh, what's the... Step Bro U. <laughs> <laughs> Step Bro Phoenix. Bratty, Bratty, Bratty Sis. Scholarship. <laughs> Whoever laughs at what he just said is a fucking perv. Yeah, you're right. You better, be, you better be covering up the history of your phone, you know, or you're gonna be, you know what? <laughs> you do it, bitch. <laughs> All right, um, I haven't done stand-up in like a couple of weeks, so I have to get these out somehow. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this Johnny, Johnny Depp, uh, Amber Heard situation, okay? Okay. All right, have y'all Amber Heard about this? Okay, that's stupid. All right, have y'all been keeping up with the hot trial of Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, or as I, I like to call it, the deposition? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Depp claims it was Amber Heard who shit the bed. But I don't know, have you seen Charlie the Chocolate Factory? I say it's Carver for shooting the bed with that performance. Alright, that one's not good. Amber Heard, more like Amber Smells. <laughs> Did Johnny Depp really lose a finger? Or were they more or less being loosely held on by his fashion rings? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> it was like his fashion rings. His, oh, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was in Sleepy Hollow, actually, so, you know, maybe that scarf is just holding on his, he's, he's the, he's the one, he's the pumpkin head guy. 
that was a that was a impromptu. Johnny Johnny Depp speaks so slow. It's the easiest job a stenographer has ever had. I don't think Amber Heard was trying to abuse trying to be abusive in that situation. She was leaving Johnny Depp a reminder of the reason she fell in love with him by leaving the curse of the Black Pearl. Ooh. Okay. These are all bad, I guess. Uh, Jesus Christ. Do you guys know who Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is? You know, at the trial? Is They're it... in love. Are they really? Well, I, mean, I mean, it seems pretty passionate. Are you Team Depp or Team Heard? Team Depp! Team Depp? Really? What about you? No, yeah. one's all, no one believes the women anymore. This <laughs> week progressed. Past being woke, awesome. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I mean, I really don't tell you. Well, let me tell you. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Zach Van Gestel has one more. Minute. Johnny Depp. Okay, thanks. Johnny Depp complains uh, co claims that he is a victim of abuse, but I don't see him suing drugs. <laughs> I'm glad they're handling this like adults and not calling each other poo poo heads. She, she threw shit in his bed. In all seriousness, I do feel bad for Edward picking up shit with his hands. <laughs> he had to escape his mansion to his other house to avoid conflict with someone who had to go to the cello the next day. Can you imagine the stress? <laughs> I sincerely hope these two uh, superstars will be okay. Can I ask you a question? Uh, did she really throw shit in the bed? No, she didn't throw it. She uh, squatted and did it. Well, I mean, assuming. I, no one really Was knows. he in the bed? No, he was, uh, he had, his, he escaped his mansion, so. So she's just by herself shitting in a bed? Yeah, I guess That's so. That's crazy, man. Oh, really? That's crazy? <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Hey guys, hot take from Ryan. <laughs> Sorry. If you shit your you know, your spouse's bed, then you're a lunatic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Amber Heard would be a good name for a dog, don't you think? Okay, bye. <laughs> Give it up for Zach Van Gessel. Clap for Zach, everybody. <laughs> I didn't know all that shit about. God, so she's just by herself shitting in a bed. That is. That is nuts, because usually people that would do that, it's like they want an audience, isn't that the point? I mean, you want, you want to shit, I'm shitting in the bed for my own, for what? I, I, no one's, you know what I mean? I, why don't I just take a shit in the toilet like a normal person? Why am I shitting on the bed for no one? So the dog watches or some shit like that? What the fuck? That's crazy. One more time for Zach May, I guess. Yeah, Zach! The next comic coming uh, to the stage, I would pull from the bucket, but the bucket is wet. This guy's very funny. Please give it up for Eric Schmitz, everybody. <laughs> Clap for Eric. Taking time, getting to the stage, no running. I don't want anybody to trip coming up the stairs. <laughs> give it up for Eric. Clap for Eric. This is too much exercise to get up here. Hey, whiskey runners. Hey, if uh, he's suing her for what, shitting in his bed? Shouldn't that be defecation of character? Hey, oh hey, shit! Hey, hey. Instead of defamation? <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, I love coming out to Nine Mile Road to do comedy. I gotta get gas now. <sighs> we all had that, uh, fuck, I gotta get gas again now, right? And then they make they make it seem like you're getting a bargain. Like every station just like says three ninety nine. Oh wow! <laughs> At least it's not four dollars a gallon. And and it's and it's three ninety nine and nine tenths of a cent. Did you ever notice that it's nine? It's one tenth of a cent from four dollars. Uh, but at least I don't have one of these giant ass. Pickup trucks with, you know, six wheels on the back axle <laughs> with the giant wheels that make you get like eight miles to the gallon. Does anyone have one of those in here? Come on, you want to get fess up. Uh, and then there's the guy with the full electric vehicle, right? That guy's like, ha, 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 I never have to buy gas. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Florida Power and Light. Yeah. Mm. Holy shit! Sorry. 
I have a $600 electric bill. Is that how you charge an electric car in, in your house? At your house. So, uh, well, you can you can go to Everman's, I guess. And, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't have an electric car. I don't know plug where to go. Plug it into an eggplant. You can go to Everman's, plug your car in, and then pay ten dollars a pound for salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good deal. So I was just up in Atlanta. We got some big. Anyone here from Atlanta? Of course not. I lived in Atlanta for a while. Did you live in? I actually lived in Atlanta briefly oh, in the yes. early nineties. Oh, oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. I worked at Six Flags over Georgia. Wow. Yeah. I was in a costume character That's show. That's right. You were working that ride that I got stuck upside down on the loop. Hey, let's hear it for Ryan Pfeiffer. He's managed to marry a podcast with stand-up comedy. Very innovative, right? I don't know if I'm doing stand-up or I'm on a podcast. I have no idea. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> but, um, man, the, the driving around Atlanta now is insane. The people in Atlanta have, like, a death wish or something. I mean, it's like... If you try to navigate anywhere in Atlanta, Siri immediately says, like, hazard reported ahead. Oh, shit, turn around. Hazard reported ahead. Oh, I'll go this way. Hazard reported ahead. And eventually Siri's just like, you're going to fucking die. You are driving around Atlanta. Proceed to the airport. I gotta get to the airport, I gotta get out of here. Hazard reported ahead. And I'm trying to figure, I mean, these fuckers, like, um, I was driving there at, like, one in the morning on a Friday evening. I went eight miles, there were, like, five accidents yeah. in, like, eight miles, just, like, and you're just, like, a hood, and then there's just people swerving, and I think maybe it's, like, these people that drive around Atlanta, like, they're looking to cash in if they don't die in an accident. Like, they've seen all these lawyer ads during the day because they have no job. Oh, I'll just get in an accident and I'll call, you know, you know. You've seen these ads, right? No matter what state you're in, these ads like, have you lost all your limbs in an accident? Pick up the phone and now 1-800-LAWYERS. Thank God for Siri. <laughs> I have Alexa at home. I have Alexa. Uh, my, my wife bought an Alexa and then I have Siri and they've been fighting over me. It's insane. Um, but like, you know, even it, like in Alabama, they have these ads. Like Alabama's got some really funny shit. Like they go like, I got in a car accident and I broke my foot. I called the Long Brothers. They got me $155,000. You know what I'm talking For a broken foot? What is this guy, a foot model? You freaking kidding me? $155,000 for a broken foot? Oh yeah, I mean, people foot model. I, I knew a guy that did foot modeling. Because it's hard, because you got your feet have to be incredibly symmetric. They have to be symmetrical. You, you know what I mean? Like, you can't have any kind of weird... You um, can't have two left feet, is what you're basically saying. Yeah, yeah. What did you say, Olivia? But you can't be bunions, that's right. Or, or, you know, maybe you're a character foot model and they're like, do you got anybody for any bunions for like before you use the foot bath infomercial? Yeah. You got nice feet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but anyway, guys. it was so great to be driving back to Pensacola so I could be here tonight. Um, you know what's great about driving is like when you're leaving Georgia, it says on the sign, it says, you're now leaving, jo uh, you know, Hope, Hope George is on your mind, which is a song, right? Ray Charles. That's cool. And then you enter Alabama. It's like Sweet Home Alabama, which they take from, what is that, Skinner? I think that is Skinner. Skinner song. Uh, that's great. And then when you get, into, you get into Florida, it's like, welcome to Florida, the penis of North America. Yeah. And I was like, I don't recall that being a song. This and and uh, the, so it's warming up here in Florida, right? Everyone thrilled about that? Getting a little bit hotter? Give it up for humanity, everybody!
Give it up for bat wings. I'm getting these winged uh, cockroaches in my house now. Anyone getting these in invasion of these? And when I first moved here, like the old people were like, oh, they're harmless. That's just a palmetto bug. You know, I looked it up. There's no such thing as a palmetto bug. It is a flying freaking cockroach. It's a giant flying cockroach, okay? And, and, and I, I, I read a little further on Wikipedia, and it was like, all cockroaches can fly, but some of them choose not to. Jeez. What, who is this, like, hipster asshole cockroach? It's like, yeah, man, um, yeah, I could fly, but I choose not to, man. Yeah, flying is not what it's cracked up to be, you know? And now I'm gonna do a little spoken word, you know? Crawling on the floor, on the wall, on the ceiling. Man, I can't get no healing. I used to live the life of good and plenty, but now I find that everyone's out to get me. Murderers! Murdering my friends and my family. When will this human violence end? Man, I'm just crawling up to you to be your friend. Take that, <laughs> asshole, beatnik, hipster cockroach. Hi, right, my name's Eric Schmitz. Thank you, Ryan, for having me. Give it up for Eric. Give it like clap for Eric. I love that. <laughs> Oh my God. The next comic coming to the States is very funny. Please put your hands together for Olivia Cersei. Yeah. Black for Olivia. Olivia! Oh, 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 Olivia. Okay, good. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Well, Olivia's coming up here. I just want to remind everybody that this is a comedy show, and if you want to, you can laugh and uh, masturbate along with the whole, I mean, just, sorry, just laugh, not masturbate. That's only in Denmark. In Denmark, they allow people to masturbate. Take your time, it's all good. No, 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 you're, you're fine. Um, everybody take your time, get it. This is the chillest comedy show, you know what I mean? I mean, we might have a fog machine, but we also have a fog machine. If you're not careful, I'm gonna whip out this fog machine. Clap for Olivia, everybody. <laughs> Get up for Olivia! She just got back from Key West. Welcome back. Thank you. It's actually the first thing I was going to talk about. I love this over here. God, open mics are so fucking weird, right? <laughs> Especially the panhandle. This is fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, we go for Ryan, you guys. You're Ryan! Yeah. 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 Is this irritating? Is this irritating? <laughs> Am I irritating? No, no, no. Um, as Ryan said, I did just get back from Key West. Y'all probably wouldn't understand unless you've been to Key West. Like, no big deal. I just went to Key West. It's fine. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, my boyfriend took me on a trip there. It was a lot of fun. We had so much fun. Y'all, I had no idea how fucking haunted Key West is. Did y'all know how haunted Key West is? No. There's like all these ghost tours happening, like left and right. And our, our last day there, we went to this museum. And like, it was just talking about all the haunted stuff and all the haunted bars. And one of the bars that we went to the most, went to this bar like five times, this bar had a tree growing through it. So they built the bar around the tree. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, how cute and environmental. Look at this tree, I'm taking selfies with it. And as it turns out, uh, it was a hanging tree in the 1800s. I'm like, I didn't even go leave this shit on the right now. I'm gonna be cursed. Oh my god. In a restaurant? It was a, it was a bar. It was oh, a bad bar. bar. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And apparently, like this woman that like killed her whole family, like they hung under my tree, and they say you can still see glimpses of her blue dress walking around. And I will say, I was alone in the bathroom there, and I did feel a presence when I was the only in there. That's before I knew it was haunted. But uh, yeah, Key West is so fucking haunted, you guys. And also, Key West is also the home of the country's most haunted doll. Have y'all heard of this haunted doll named Robert? 
Jacking off with a flashlight or something like that. They're talking about the times they've been coming. Yeah. How many times? How many? How many? How many people on flashlights in here? Hundred percent. Do you really? Eric, we knew you did. You didn't have to raise your hand. Um, I was like, you know, female masturbation. I, I always heard that it still makes some audiences uncomfortable. Either way, I should probably stop doing it at Target. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, what else? So like, I'm kind of a dumb bitch sometimes, I'm a little bit, I'm kind of dumb, you know. Um, I'll confuse the words hemorrhoids and hernias when using them in a sentence. Because you know how like when you get a, uh, you can get a hernia from being really stressed out. And anyone who knows that I stress over like the dumbest shit. And I was really stressing out over a situation the other night. And I was like, oh, I was like, I'm going to end up with a hemorrhoid by the end of the night. And this person near us was looking at us like, what the fuck? 
How is this bitch gonna get a hemorrhoid tonight? What is she gonna be doing that's gonna make that happen? <laughs> what kind of shit is she into? It's just like when people confuse Anne Frank and Helen Keller, you know. Am I the only, am I, so I'm just really dumb. I confuse that to you. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> So I went and I got really high the other night and I wanted ice cream, so I went to Circle K. But I was like, I don't want them to know I'm high. I'm like, I can't just buy ice cream. So a hundred dollars later, after grocery shopping at the fucking gas station, because it's expensive to grocery shop there, a hundred dollars yeah. later, you only have six items. Yeah. So as I'm leaving, you know, I go out to my car and I'm sitting there and I just see the employee at Circle K walk out go behind the store and then just walk into the woods. <laughs> Probably to get high. And I was worried about it for no reason. <laughs> and I've been like paranoid. Um, I've had a lot of break-ins in my neighborhood lately and that kind of freaks me out because I'm at home alone a lot. I need to stop saying that out loud. <laughs> She's now, a lot of cameras and dogs. Right? A lot of cameras and dogs. In case you're thinking about anything. But um, you have to hear it though. I got a little paranoid though. And after going and locking my front door that's all glass, I saw a fucking face print on the glass. And I was like, oh my God, it's them. They've been scoping out my house. I'm gonna get robbed soon. But then I was like, wait a minute. I came home drunk the other night, go face first into the door. That's my face print. No one's trying to rob me. I'm just a drunk bitch, you know? You do know. Um, so like, Comedians, you know, a lot of us, we go on the road and we travel to do this, believe it or not. <laughs> um, and you know, whenever I'm in like a car, you know, go, trying to go out of town to go to a show, you know, I get a little bit of anxiety because, when I'm driving especially, because I got in a bad car accident years ago. So I've been thinking of ways that would just make me feel as safe as possible when I'm driving. So I've been thinking about wearing a helmet when I'm driving on the interstate. It's not a bad idea. But I feel like people are like, oh, you're just going to be coming out of a gas station. Yeah. And you're like, I don't think she should be driving. You don't get fucked up in car accidents. I, I'm <laughs> serious. Dude. Put a fucking helmet on. I, I will not judge you if you drive with a helmet on. Dude. <laughs> it's just like the ice cream. I shouldn't care what they think. I should just wear a helmet. I don't care what anyone thinks. I wish everybody was wearing helmets all the fucking time that I can have one on them right now. Anything falls on my fucking head. Intellectually uh, challenge, intellectually, intellectually challenge. That's the right way to say it, right? Yeah. Intellectually challenge people would love that. Yeah. More inclusive. But um. Uh, yeah, it's solid. It's just solid. There, the people that have to wear helmets. We all wear helmets. You wear helmets. We all wear fucking helmets. For some reason, I thought you turned the off button. <laughs> <laughs> Trap door. It's the same in the table. Uh, like so, other things. Uh, so, who here suffers with uh, depression and anxiety? Zach like, does, for sure. Zach does. Zach's depressed, depressed probably. Is Maybe Joe. Depressed? Uh, Eric is depressed. Of course, depressed. it's all the comedians. We're like, yeah, depressed. we fucking hate ourselves. Yeah. Uh, that's why we're here. So, I don't know if y'all have heard this before, but apparently, if you force yourself to smile, you can trick yourself into thinking you're actually happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I want all of you to picture yourselves just sitting in a room by yourself trying out this technique. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy right now. <laughs> now it makes you look and feel like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> like, God, God forbid you're like driving to your shitty job one day, you're just in your car, just like. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, is she gonna fucking drive off the bridge? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. That's what happened. Even worse, I'm wearing the helmet. And they're like, oh god. The helmet She's see. ready though, she got the helmet. Um, apparently there's another technique you can do for anxiety is like if you put your arms above your head like this. Everybody do it. Do it right now. Okay, good. Is this set this bad? Put your arms over your head. But so like apparently like there's like a lot of psychology books that suggest like yeah, go into a bathroom stall and try it, you know, put your arms over your head. Basically what I'm trying to say, y'all, is there's a very good chance you're going to run into me at a rest stop one day, off the interstate, and my dumb ass is going to forget to lock the bathroom door, and you're going to open it, and just see me standing there with a helmet on, just... <laughs> Alright. Well, 
That's your time. Give it up for Olivia Saracen. Do you have more you want to say? Woo! Huh? Do you have more you want to say? Um, I don't know. No. <laughs> Clap for Olivia. Clap for Olivia. Your next comic coming to the stage is uh, Brady Ray. He's very funny. Very funny. And give it up for Olivia one more time. Woo! I know there's lots of people. Everybody here is so quiet. Nobody's walked in on me jacking off. <laughs> I'm going to... Before Brady, I want to tip gets up here. I'm going to tell you something real fucking personal. I, you know, I used to be married, and one time, no, no, this wasn't my ex-wife. This is a girl I lived with for a while. She caught me jacking off in the shower, and I freaked out when she walked in. I got somehow I got shampoo in my eye. I didn't know how the fuck I did that. You know, that, that was embarrassing. She was like, she was like, why are you crying? You were jacking off. I was like, I got shampoo in my eye. She's like, don't lie. You got cum in there, didn't you? You got cum in there, you fucking ass. Guys, your next comic coming from the stage to the stage. He uh, he moved here recently from Alabama, and that's where they put people in space. That's the home of the space program, I think. Is that right? in Alabama? That's where the shuttle launches from. No. No, no, no. Uh, this guy's very funny. Please give it up for Brady Ray. Clap for Brady. Hi, Florida. <laughs> Hi. It's really cool. Uh, I love driving to Florida to do comedy. I've never been to Florida to do comedy until last week. It's really great. I love the sign that says, Welcome to Florida. But uh, tonight I got the real welcome from uh, Mr. Zach here. Uh, he just pulls it off and he's just like, a dead stare, just fucking, Fuck you! You fucking hippie piece of shit! You democratic liberal asshole, what's up, dude? Welcome to Whiskey Runners, motherfucker! Alright! Yo, I'm glad that the uh, Island Boys found testosterone, dude. You guys are living great, right? Island Boy! Hey, no, for real, thank you guys for coming. I really enjoy it. Just let me, let me do my thing. <laughs> Uh, I like to watch the news too, Eric, wherever you are. Uh, but I like to watch the news not from America, so I don't hang myself. <laughs> you go to that bar in Key West. When you're there. That's crazy. Yeah, no, so apparently in New Zealand this past week, uh, a horse jockey and the horse both tested positive for meth. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can see the jockey, yeah, but like the horse, like, just fucking it. Why is the horse under my car trying to fix it? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. <laughs> you know, and they're, they're like, hey, we're gonna do a random drug screening. Of course, you've done this all before. Uh, you're gonna piss clean, right? And the horse is so high, it just tells on himself. He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to think my dad is Bigfoot. Is that reasonable? <laughs> Yeah, I heard a lot of stories, some people seen it, <laughs> I don't think it's fucking real. And my mom's like, no, your dad's more like Jesus, baby. You know, he left us a long time ago, but be a good boy. He might come back. <laughs> I don't think he's fucking real. Uh, I've been told his nickname is Zorro, which is cool, because I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> I miss my dad. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, uh, as a kid, uh, I used to get drugs and medicine confused. Right? I mean, well. I mean, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard some stories about my dad getting his medicine out back from the pharmacy, you know? <laughs> so, you can understand the level of concern my mother had when she saw me tying off to take an aspirin. Be like, <laughs> Brady, why are you heating up your knife well, man? <laughs> I don't think they're laughing at me. Thank you, bro. Uh, what do you feel about the mustache? Are you digging it? Yeah? No? Yeah? Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. Uh, I call it my beta blogger. Because oh. it hides how real beta I am. It makes me look more alpha than I truly am. You guys both have mustaches. 
She, 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 they get, she, you guys want to see them compare the mustache? You want to see this stash off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, get that fucking soft dick tickler up here. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't fucking have one of those, and not sport it. Let's go. You gotta come around there. No, 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 you can't come up there. Uh -huh. All right, violate you. Not much. <laughs> so who? Hey, Ivan boys, y'all want to take this motherfucker out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Zach's a nice guy. <laughs> so, uh, Island Boys, who has the best mustache? Alan, so. This is Brady. Exactly. Me, so maybe that's why I'm, I have less testosterone because I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't have to do whatever. Zach has less testosterone than Brady. I don't even know how he can tell. We're gonna have to. We need you to come in this bucket. Like I'm, uh, I'm so hairy. When I have, I'm a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so hairy. I've electrocuted more women than the state of Alabama ever has. <laughs> This is science. That's science. Static electricity, Zach. <laughs> yeah, no, you can leave. You gotta go this way. You gotta go this way. You gotta go this way. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Clap for Zach, everybody. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, thank you Zach. Hey, thank did you, you win or did you win you the, the stash off? Uh, you know, we're you, just gonna say I did. Okay. I'm okay. just gonna say that. Brady has uh, more testosterone, apparently. Yeah, hey, miracle Jeez. bro. Hell of a drug. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, like I said, it makes me look more alpha than I already am, you know? But, like, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I can't change a tire. Thank God for my girlfriend, who's more handy than me, you know? <laughs> Thank God for her. I'm more, I'm more footsie, you know? Just like the car breaks down, I'm like, come, fucking come on. <laughs> <laughs> fucking run. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... You know, my girlfriend recently has been keeping a tally of how many days it's been since she last barfed. <laughs> <laughs> Not because she's bulimic or anorexic or anything, she just likes to brush her teeth real good. You know? <laughs> Nothing much there. How many days is she on? Uh, you know, actually, she's made it to four. I'm real fucking proud of her. Everybody give up to Laura. Yeah, give up to Laura. One day at a time. Yeah, baby, baby girl working. Baby girl working. <laughs> she's being ecosexual. You know what that is, Olivia? E oh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Don't pay attention to me. I'm not important at all. Fuck me, okay. <laughs> ecosexual. Now, what do you think that is? Yes. Oh, dude, so close. Uh, ecosexual is when you get real horny for trees. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Well, you know, she gets real horny for trees, but uh, you know, I converted her. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out she's a sap for good wood. Hey! <laughs> you know, Ryan, uh, I appreciate this, brother. Mama, get off here. All right. Give it up for Brady Ray. Thank you. Crack for Brady. Ecosexual. I, I, I learned, I'm learning so much and I've never heard of that. I don't know what that means. I, I, well, you you know, you like to fuck dams or something. Anything that's good for the environment. One more time for Brady. Oh, you gotta go out this way. You gotta go this way. Oh, they, will, they will tase you if you go up the wrong stairs. That's the only thing. Okay. Your next comic coming to the stage is uh, Joe Walters, everybody. This guy is so funny. I really enjoy his comedy. Take your time getting up here. Um, no rush. Uh, I just want to say clap for Whiskey Runners for having us here tonight. Thank you for having this open mic at your establishment. I know everybody could be out there riding the bull. Does anybody do that? Does anybody ride that bull out there? You get naked first. Do they make you get naked or can you just... I don't know. Clap for Joe, everybody. Give it up for Joe. I'd rather uh, hear about you naked bull riding than my set. Naked bull riding stories for I don't. I just thought about it. Not for a long time. Not for a long time. How's everybody doing? Man, this is all good. 
Yes, it's sexy, man. It's sexy for yeah. 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 I'm, I'm so weird, dude. I have, uh, my whole life I've been weird, though. Like, uh, um, when I was a kid, I remember going to my friend's house, and uh, their parents would be like, uh, dude, uh, you're fucking weird, man. <laughs> and like, when you're nine, that's rough, but um, they're like, it's not, it's not like a creepy weird or anything. You know, it's a cool weird. You know, you're not like out beating off in cemeteries or stealing tampons from Walmart and shit, you know? And I was like, oh, man, that makes you feel good. But it also insulted me, um, because I was out beating off in cemeteries and stealing tampons from Walmart and shit. So it was a reality check there. But the life judge is weird for me, man. Like, um, I work at a gas station, uh, because life is sweet, going as a plan. Yeah. I work midnights, and uh, I had to train some dude. So he just told me, like, he'll be there uh, at midnight, he'll tell me anything about this guy. Uh, turns out the guy's got Tourette's and shit. That's something you should know about a person. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm, I, I got the safe, I'm training him, I'm doing the safe numbers. It's like two in the morning. What kind of gas station is this? My gas station. Tom Thumb. Oh, Tom, oh, Tom Thumb. I think they have the best food. I like Tom yeah. Thumb's food better than Circle K. Is that, do I get a lot of pushback, or do you guys uh, want to follow me on the parking lot and stab me today? I don't know. If I eat one more roller girl hot dog from Tom, I'm going to puke all over the place. That's what I live I just like their cheese products. Cheese products? <laughs> I don't think it's real cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, it's nice. Thank, thank you. Is my, is my butt crack? You got me at the right time to stop with my butt crack hanging out? No, it's not. This, this bucket is wet, baby. <laughs> this bucket is wet. So I'm training this guy. Uh, I, I do this right here. Pumpkin! What the fuck? Pumpkin? Did you just say pumpkin? Dude, it's 2 in the morning, I'm working with the safe, you can't say pumpkin, what the fuck? Turns out he has threats, and that's what he says, is pumpkin. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's weird, man. <laughs> and he's just, you know, he's kind of like an open mouth breather, just walk around, pumpkin! <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, nuts. nuts. Oh, so this, this old lady comes in, it's like 2 in the morning, she's been traveling, she's tired. She's putting in her, her pin coat, and he's just standing there, and... Pumpkin! Same. It's, we fired him. You can't be more on say pumpkin. I would rather you say like you get fired for saying pumpkin. Well, you know, it's just freaking people out. Like how does that even happen? Like I thought. Yeah, still play. Say pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin. I guess. Yeah. He might have lost it on his hands then. Yeah. Oh, he's his too. <laughs> pumpkin. I wanted. To, I would go to that Tom Tom. I would go to the Tom Tom with the guys yelling pumpkin. Gotta go at midnights. Now he's, more, now he's he's homeless, I think. He's just sitting oh. on the streets pumpkin. <laughs> I would rather you say stuff like fuck my ass than pumpkin. Pumpkin's just weird, man. <laughs> really? I wouldn't want you to say fuck my ass either, but alright. I digress. Fuck my ass pumpkin. Dude, Tom Thumb has got tons of characters. I work with this other old lady who uh, like just farts non-stop. Like her asshole has been blown out for years. Yeah. And she's just like so and I know she knows she waves at shit people. Yeah. But I was talking to her, and as we're talking, she starts doing this. Uh, and she's like, excuse me, baby. I'm like, well, wait a minute, you've been farting the whole fucking day. Why are you saying excuse me now? Yeah. Now it's awkward, now I have to address it. I just call her stinky. I call her stinky bitch. I'm not gonna be polite with that. If you're gonna if you're gonna pull me into the weirdness, I'm gonna make it weird. Yeah. I go, they so pull nice their asshole. She I don't I mean why else would be leaky? Like, I picture it like a stroke victim's face. It's just like, <laughs> just constant, constant gas. Nobody, nobody here has ever been our old person. Just, dude, I swear to God, dude, she's got like rose petals in her pocket or something to like filter it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I'd rather you just smell your fart than Roby's fart. It's just gross. It makes it you got a charcoal, you got a charcoal butthole filter? Right. It's got to be more biologically sound way to say that, I think. Um, Is that right? She could just quit eating Mexican food. That'd be good. Okay. Just grow food to me. All right, back to this. Oh, here's a good story, Chris. So, um, I went to a real small high school. Um, piece of shit with poor, didn't take care of anything. A couple years ago, uh, we were really far in state for football. So our, our high school had all these people there we weren't ready for. It. Yeah. So come halftime, everybody runs to the bathroom. This bathroom's got like two stand-up stalls and two shit stalls, you know? So we're fine doing the old shuffle thing. I finally get up to the bathroom, and there's a little old man sitting there taking a shit in the stall. So has no door. There's 3,000 fucking people in this bathroom, and this old man just sitting there shitting. And the worst part is, so like I said, there's no room. You got to kind of shuffling, two steps away. This one guy had a two-year-old in his hand. Here's got like a four-year-old's hand, and it ends up to where they're stopped right in front of the stall. So the old man's taking a shit, staring like right at this four-year-old kid. 
I was in Vietnam and all I'm shitting here in front of this kid. So you know that's how it's going. And like if you're shitting in that situation, it's not like a boop, I'm done. Like you are shit fire, my friend. You know, it's you gonna know. kid not to don't look at me while I shit, okay? I don't afford me that courtesy. I wasn't like silent like it is in here during my set. Oh yeah. It was like wow, there's 3,000 people in our bathroom, and he's just ripping them, going to town. And... Anybody shits on this stage, I want everybody to be respectful. This isn't yeah. Johnny Depp's bed. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth is Johnny Depp's bed. Johnny Depp's bed. <laughs> you know what I miss, dude? I mean, remember 90s and 80s wrestling, dude? When wrestling was good? Yeah, yeah. Do you know why it was good? Because people cared about it. Because people eat cocaine, man. Oh. <laughs> dude, what was better than a coked up Rancho Man Randy Savage, dude? Oh, yeah, to me, I'm gonna take a shit. Oh, yeah. WrestleMania Ultimate Warrior, Hogan going down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss those days, dude. Macho Man was a shit. I miss those days, too. That's awesome. <laughs> we still. <laughs> oh yeah, you know he'd be walking, he was like looking around and shit. He's like, yeah, brother. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eugene Oprah was just like over here, Macho Man. He's just like raging. <laughs> He's still on Slim Jims, dude. I think that's awesome. That's that's one reason I do. I, I get a little tear every time I get a Slim Jim. Oh yeah. He's uh yeah. He died. He died in a car crash. Oh he died. He died. Now what like all the cool ways that guy could have died is the car crash. Oh yeah, say it. <laughs> oh, I thought we should bring the vibes down. Right. <laughs> is, any, is, is anybody sad about Racho? <laughs> Racho, Monty Man Savage dying in car crash? Anybody? I'll show some goddamn I'm respect to Racho. I, I said the name wrong, okay? I just, Ooh, it's all right. We're in a fight, so yeah. <laughs> WrestleMania Seven. Ooh, yeah. You know that's sad. Damn, that guy's dead, huh? Yes. <laughs> the fuck? My kids like me to do their voice at home and they're like, oh. So I gotta like make them not want to quit, so I'll say weird shit so I don't have to go, Ooh, my tune's gonna rip you out the closet, yeah! And then I don't have to do it anymore. They're just like, oh fuck! It's bad enough, but you know you know about adrenochrome, right? You know what adrenochrome is? Adrenochrome. It's a uh, conspiracy where like celebrities like Johnny Depp scare yeah. children and then extract their blood and yes. then drink it. <laughs> And they stay useful. That's so horrible. That's what a horrible, like, fucking process to have to get so. It like, is, but hey, anything like, a little good though. The shit out of you, then. Oh, yeah, they're like babies and shit. But, you know, I was like, well, maybe there's something behind it, you know? <laughs> so, like, I'm hiding behind walls and shit in my house, like a safety pin, just waiting for my kids. <laughs> Man, am I fucking them up. They are, like, the doorbell rings, they're dying beyond countries and shit. They're like, what the fuck? Like a bunch of Vietnam vets. You gotta be fast to get a drink of chrome. You do? Yeah, I've poked them like a thousand times so far. I got like <laughs> this much. Is it working? Doesn't restore hair, I'll tell you that shit. This one's plumb out of the drink of chromium. Yeah, I think my wife's had about enough of that. We're out of band-aids. We keep running out of band-aids. Dude, before I came here today, I was watching uh, YouTube. Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen Barbie Jeep racing? Like these hillbillies will get on little Barbie Jeeps and ride them down hills and shit. <laughs> Never seen it? That's it, dude. You jump on a Barbie Jeep, drive down a half mile hill with rocks and mud. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, they're, they're interviewing you for it. They're like, what's your strategy? And he's like, well, you know, I gotta get down that turn. It's like, dude, just squeeze your butt cheeks and don't die. That's all your strategy is. <laughs> like you fucking drifting or drafting people. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you gotta check that shit out. It's nuts. The strategy is is uh, not die. That's that seems like a, I, I I don't know. Is anybody into that Barbie truck? You know what they're saying? It just seems like something you would have to be on drugs to really oh, absolutely. sell at. <laughs> Every day, like fireball in their back pocket, and their meth pipes are falling out as they're rolling down the old trip. We got a hold it for the meth pipe. <laughs> I don't know anything about that, but I used to have the nickname the Iceman, but that's like Top Gun. Oh, right. Oh, Val, yeah, Val, Val Kilmer. Kilmer. Big Val Kilmer fan. Oh, yeah. You look like Val Kilmer. Doesn't he look like Val Kilmer a little bit? Can you see that? <laughs> a little Val Kilmer. You know, I've heard of Brad Pitt. Oh, jeez. The adrenochrome must be working. I'm going to keep poking my kids then. Damn. Hell yeah. Thank you, Ryan Pfeiffer. This is Brad Pitt doing comedy tonight. Dude, tell me, Brad Pitt and Troy in the tent scene? Come on. Oh, yeah. That's all I'll say. No homo. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, not at all. Go fuck some Spartans. I don't give a shit. I believe he was 
This no, bar Trojan, I don't know. I don't yeah, whatever. Oh, is this abs? Just, oh, just use the rubber if you can, even if you have to go back in. Did they have rubbers back then? Oh, yeah, they Trojan? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to finish on that terrible joke. Okay. Because that's all I got. Yeah. Give it up for Joe Walters, everybody. Give it up for Ryan Fifery. Oh, stop. Joe Walters, clap for Joe. I believe we have uh, two more comedians left. Is that correct? There's Lamar and Shane. Right? Am I missing? One more time for Joe, please. Are there any comedians? Because the bucket is wet. So, the bucket is wet. And I had the names in the bucket. So, the bucket is wet. So, I hope I didn't miss anybody. The bucket is wet. That's the name of the show now. You like that? Back in the day, I think, uh, in the Spartan Wars, they used uh, squirrels as prophylactics, I think. <laughs> Put a squirrel on me, John Thomas, so I don't... <laughs> okay. They didn't have AIDS yet. They didn't? Well, they didn't know about it. Or did they? Did they have AIDS? But somebody look on Wikipedia under AIDS <laughs> to see if it was around. They're in the Spartans. Why is it that, uh, by the way, your next comic coming to the stage, this guy is very funny. I do a show with him um, the last Sunday of every month, A Little Madness at Shane Camp. Shane Camp is next. Slowly make you, don't, no rush. You, do you have a drink and everything? You're good? Okay. Um, this guy's very funny. Please put your hands together for Shane Camp. Clap for Shane. If you're doing comedy and you're coming up here and you're like, oh, I haven't got a drink yet, please go get a drink and then I'll just talk until you get up here. That's fine. Clap for Shane, everybody. The very fun Shane Camp. There was a man. There was a man named Billy Oceans. Okay. Before I get into the bit, I want to talk about his parents. If your last name's Ocean. Don't name your the first name of your child Billy. There's so many better names for the, if your last name's Ocean. Uh -huh. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian. Is there another ocean? I don't know. But what I'm getting at is bigger. Billy just it, Billy Ocean. Arctic. But Billy Ocean was a genius. He's okay. Here's sh okay. Sh what Shakespeare did for it? Shakespeare, and then there's Billy Ocean right underneath them. Have you heard Caribbean Queen? Yes. The opening line is, is, is poetry. Poetry. Caribbean Queen. She dashed on by me and painted on jeans. Okay? And that got me thinking, what, what's he mean by this? She's dashing by. Dashing. What's a dash? Okay, we know that this is walking, right? And this is running. But somewhere in the middle is dashing. Why is she dashing? Could it be cocaine? <laughs> okay. They, she dashed over by me and painted on jeans. All heads turned because she was the dream. <laughs> that girl was hot with that painted on jeans. Why was she painted on jeans? Were they so tight that they were just seen painted on, or was she really painted on jeans? If so, what kind of paint was she using? Did she have like the whole, were they Wranglers? But look, so she dashed up by me with painted on jeans, all heads turned because she was the dream. We're all doing cocaine. <laughs> okay, because even it sounds, by the way, I have a playlist of songs that are. It's a playlist called Songs That Were Written on Cocaine, and this is one of them. Uh, the second one is Addicted to Love. You know, might as well face it, you're addicted to love. Da -da -da. You know, he's just fucking amped up. He's coked up when he wrote that song. Anyway, she dashed on by me and painted on, she dashed on by me and painted on with jeans. She's all coked up with not even jeans on. They're painted on. She's like, look at the, you know, and all the guys were like, dude, she knows where to get it. You know, we're gonna be, let's follow her. So all the heads turned because she was the dream. Um, wait. She dashed on by me and painted it on. I got it. That's how I can remember the lyrics. And all heads turned because she was the dream. And, and wait, and then, in a blink of an eye, I knew her number and her name. Because when you're on cocaine, you have no sense of time. 
For him, it was really an hour until we got her number and her name. But when you're on cocaine, it's like a blink of an eye. <laughs> he was like, he didn't blink for an hour. So it really was telling the truth. It was like an hour later, he blinked. Because <laughs> he was all just coked up. He's like, what's your number and your name? I need to know it with the painted old jeans. <laughs> My name's Billy Ocean. Robert Ocean, actually, but you call me Billy. No, what, what was the other one? Oh, and then I like the part where uh, he's like, wait, I don't know. She dashed all by me, I'm painting on Jesus. All his turns because she was a dream. Uh, in a blink rhyme, I knew her number and her name. And, oh, wait, what was it? Oh, she said I was the tiger she wanted to tame. Jesus. Who the fuck is talking about taming tigers that's not on cocaine? <laughs> Who has tigers? Mike Tyson. Cocaine. Yeah. Okay. Probably lot. Probably this, someone in this car Caribbean owns queen? a tiger. I she lives in the Caribbean. She's it, she's not even wearing jeans. <laughs> Where is she putting the cocaine at? Well, Where is she pour, storing it? Does she have a fanny pack on over her painted on jeans? <laughs> okay. Then there was the line. Wait. I like. Wait. Caribbean queen. Because we're sharing the same dream. Because they're sharing the same dream of cocaine. Yeah. And their hearts beat as one. Yeah. No more love on the run. run. Because when you're on cocaine, you run, you lose your, you don't have a lot of cardio. Right. You run out of breath because of the cigarettes. Yeah. You're chain smoking. You know, yeah. and your, but your heart beats like boom, boom. You pull over, you bring. Hey, look, our hearts beat as one. We in love. Let's do more coke. <laughs> you pull over, you blow up. Dude, by the way, Billy Ocean, if if when you're shopping for women and they're not wearing real jeans, but they're just painted on, <laughs> that's a bad sign. Well, it's affordable. You should only date women that wear jeans that are not painted on. You want, when I look for women, I look for women wearing real jeans, like Helen Hunt. <laughs> Have you seen her in jeans? <laughs> Dude, Helen Hunt in jeans is the dream. All right. Dude, my wife, uh, she's not here right now, so I'm going to talk some shit about it. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Wait. Don't tell her. It, are we recording? Is this we're, live? And we're streaming, yeah. I love her so much. I'm sending her the link. Right I can't now. live with her out her. Look, we were to get, we've been together for like 10 years. And we just got married. She wanted to get married like right away. Because I mean, I'm her Caribbean queen. So she wanted to get married. But me, I'm like, I'm broke. I spend all my money on stuff I can smoke and stuff I can drink. Okay. I don't have time to spend money on rings, buffets for people, you know, tuxedos, you know, I get, you gotta rent chairs, you gotta have a band, a, a bartender at your wedding, but you know what happened? Thank God, oh my God, God sent me an angel called COVID-19, <laughs> and then I realized I don't have to invite anybody to my wedding, I don't gotta get a buffet, because we got social distance. <laughs> So I dropped on my knees the day COVID happened. I said, babe, I can't wait a fucking second longer. Bitch, marry me over Zoom for free. <laughs> and that's what we did. It, that was the best wedding I ever had. The first one actually was pretty good. I've been married twice. First one, she wanted a green card. Boom. She paid for everything. So I got like a free wedding. It was like, wasn't even real, you know, but we did it. And it was cool. That was actually a fun wedding. There was no stakes in it. You know what I'm saying? She just wanted to fuck out of Bulgaria, and I don't blame her. I've never been there, but it's not America. Whoa, 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 whoa. I should say it's not Florida. Because I can't just say, if I say it's not America, that means different things. Take, for example, Florida and California. Florida is America. California, I don't know what the fuck they're, they're thinking. That's not America anymore. They're like, oh, is it, am I getting the light? No, no, no. I saw a light. Uh, I don't know. I might be having a seizure. No, no. I have brain damage and epilepsy. Oh, shit. If I have a seizure, I'll show you what it looks like. So if it happens, you'll know that I'm having a seizure. Usually, I go like this. <laughs> so if I do that, 
I'm having a seizure. Just let me be. Should we put something in your mouth so you don't Also, lie? by the way, the less you laugh, the more likely I'm going to have a seizure. So <laughs> laugh it up, even if it's not funny, right? right? Absolutely. I'm prone to seizures when you're not laughing. It's one of the side effects, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That's, that why, I, that's why I do stand-up, to, to not have a seizure. My doctor is like, do you not want to have seizures? I was like, yeah. He's like, you better do stand-up comedy. You better be funny. I, if anybody produces shows in here and books Shane, please be sure to put him up first oh, so he doesn't have way. a seizure. Can you see this right? the hat? Does anybody have own a hat like this? I've, I've been watching Yellowstone, but I can't afford the Stetson yet, so I haven't got this thing. But look, it's got the, the chin thing. Who does that? Who wears... If you wear your hat like that, you're a fucking old person or you're a psychopath. Right? Jeez. No, I'm sorry. See? And all, all old people, I don't know if you know this, anybody over the, over the age of 79 is a psychopath. Because they got nothing. They're just like, I'll kill, I'll kill, I'll kill that person. Why not? hundred dollars? Sure. You might have to I don't even, don't even, I don't, tell me, just show, give me their picture. In fact, I'm going to start an assassin agency just with old people. Because they got nothing, you know what I'm saying? You won't see it coming. Like an old person coming up and being like, bitch, you shouldn't have fucked Shane over. And then you're going to be like, oh God, it wasn't me. And I'm just running away from the gunshot. I heard a gun, I'm an old person. <laughs> A good gunshot. The roll by. Dude, I know if I ever killed my wife, I know how I'd do it. Kiwi. I'd go to Kiwi and she's deathly allergic to Kiwis. Which sucks for me because I fucking love Kiwis. And I haven't eaten one since I've been with her. And God, I miss a taste of a Kiwi. But she's deathly allergic. But if she sometimes when she pisses me off, I'll be shopping. And I'll pick up a few Kiwis. Yeah. And I, I've got a place, I got a Kiwi closet. And then sometimes when she pisses me off, I'll just cut one open and I'll hold it up. I'll be like, what'd you say? What'd you say? What was that? You want to die today? But she can't prove that. What is she going to say online? That my husband tried to throw a kiwi at me? Can I'm not going to get it. Can I ask a question? question? Yeah. Do you, do you have to, before you throw the kiwi at her, would you have to peel the kiwi first? I don't know, I've never thrown a kiwi at her. I'm, saying, I'm scared of killing my wife. I, mean, I, I actually have never bought a kiwi since I've met her. Oh, okay. I think I've done Is she talking. really allergic to kiwi? I don't want to talk anymore, bro. Okay, okay. Give it up for Shane Camp. Clap for Shane, everybody. I don't feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> Go see our show at the last Sunday of the month in, uh, what's it, in May. <laughs> Sound like a moron. <laughs> one more time for Shane. Clap for Shane. You know what I mean? You ever catch yourself just doing shit? It's like, holy shit, I, I, I sound so fucking stupid right now. Stop. <laughs> Your next comment coming to the stage is very funny. Please give it up for Lamar DeVore. And while he's coming up here, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any other comedians. We have any other comics here tonight hiding away somewhere. In the bathroom, on the balloon. Mm -hmm. Clap for Lamar, everybody. Get it. Give it up for Lamar. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lamar. We got video. <laughs> What's up, whiskey runners? And by the way, real quick, Lamar's not the last comic. We'll have Lamar, then one more comic, so nobody go anywhere. Yeah, don't worry. Somebody funny is coming. Don't worry. Just listen to me for now. So everybody just is doing. Cool. What's up? What's up, Olivia? How are you doing? How are you guys doing? How's it going? Uh, who is that? You look like Ted Nugent, man. What's going on? Are you Ted Nugent for real? Neil Young. Oh, Neil Young. That's, that's like so much better. I'm so glad. Like, I... I would I lose my like shit. I, I, Neil Young, I would lose my oh, shit. Ted Nugent is like, uh oh, hide your daughters. <laughs> Channel bait, that's what he wrote, so whatever. But Neil Young is a shit. So glad, Neil, thank you for coming. Give it up for Neil Young, Crosby, the big guys. So you're, I, I own your whole catalog. Big fan. Okay. Are y'all on vacation? Y'all on vacation? No? 
Y'all y- 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 live here? How long y'all been here for? A few months. Y'all just moved here? Yeah, you come back and forth from where? Maine. Maine? Oh, nice, dude. It's fucking cold there still, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're still here. Nice. Smart people. Clap for intelligence. That's, that's a good thing to value. Smartness. Thank you. I farted. Clap for it. Clap. <laughs> you just clapping, clapping for everything. Yeah. Let's just clap for Ryan. Everybody give Ryan a yeah. round of applause. Clap for Ryan. Clap for me. Yes. Stop it. Woo! Give a round of applause for him. Give a round of applause for him. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, dude. So, I've been told that I had the nose for coke. Yeah, you ever saw that? <laughs> He saw my nose from a side angle. He was laughing his ass off. You asshole. <laughs> yeah, but then he said that to the guy right after me going into the bathroom. So I don't, I don't know if that's just a sales gimmick or whatever. But I bumped. I mean, I got the coat. I've been thinking about uh, switching out my job and uh, becoming a smiley eye, you know? That way I can be like, hmm, this rail rails like a Moscato. <laughs> Cocaine joke. <laughs> you know what railing? You know what railing is. There's no way you have that hat and hair, dude. Your your smile is cocaine white. You know, so you know what I'm talking about. Another guy with cocaine white teeth. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Florida. You seen any crazy shit in your two months here? Yeah, you had to, because the gas station near my house, a lady got thrown fucking gasoline on and fucking lit on fire. How long did it take her to light something to throw it on her, though? <laughs> Was she grabbing matches and just going, hold on, bitch! Who knows? I ain't seen the footage. I don't think I can put that on the internet. Maybe on the sites you're looking at, Joe. <laughs> I love Joe. Joe and I did a show at, in someone's backyard. Yeah. And I was the headliner. <laughs> it's cool. We got paid before the show. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, we it actually went pretty well. It was like a Christmas party, and then we went to this like uh, this like lawn storage shed. It was like a cubby hole that smelled like mildew. So we decided to smoke pot there. <laughs> and one of the dudes we brought, uh, <laughs> he was he was smoking, and then he just was like, uh, "I'm gonna sleep now." <laughs> Yo, my boy passed out, dude. He just passed out, and I'm holding him and shit. I'm like, oh god, I'm putting him down. I'm like trying to put him down, and the lady of the house who hired us is like, don't do that, don't do that. You're gonna hurt him. He needs to be sitting up. I'm like, no, put him down, put his legs up. You know, I've only been doing phlebotomy, stabbing people in the medical field for ten fucking years. You know, whatever. God damn it. Anyways. He's put. I got his feet up, and she's like, "No, you gotta lift him up." And she's like trying to lift him up, and she couldn't lift him up. So then she put him back down. She's like, "No, nah, I'll do a sternum rub." <laughs> you know what a sternum rub is? So when someone is unresponsive, and you just like come up on a scene, pretty much, you you do this to wake them up. You know, and when they pass out and shit, you take your fist and you just grind it on your fucking ribs, dude. Yeah, that was gross. Fucking spit. But uh, she's grinding the fucking knuckles on his chest. Just do it to yourself for a second and you'll know how painful it fucking is. So she's just grinding it and I'm like, lady, please just let him rest. She's like, she's like, I'm a goddamn dental assistant of seven years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, a dental assistant, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I went to the dentist and they had to like uh, give me an IV. Ooh, nice. 
uh, and the guy didn't know what the fuck he was doing. I basically like told him like, no, no, dude, twist it here. I grab the fucking needle and like stab myself. That's the dentist. Now I just imagine a dental assistant is way lower than a dentist, right? I don't know. I just hate women, right, Brian? I don't know, but you you hate women? Yeah, I just hate them. Well, you shouldn't. They're great. You should. Be. We get that you have a mom or a sister. Yo, how many female friends do you have? A fuck time. Her. Yeah. Not a whole lot, you know why? Women fucking suck, dude. <laughs> Ask a woman. I love my mom. You She's love your great. mom? Yeah, because your mom loves you. That's yeah. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women love no one except for their children. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't even love themselves, you know? Mm-hmm. My, my wife and I had gotten an argument. And I, she was like trying to like make it up to me. And uh, I was like, no, no, stop, you know? And she was like, why? And I was like, do you really want me to, like, do stuff to you, like sex, when I have little to no respect for you? She goes, yes, 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 please, yes. Sounds amazing. Spit my mouth. I said that, not her, sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking gross, dude. You like spit play? Yo, I like whatever happens, you know? Like, I don't I don't make rules in this shit, you know? <laughs> if you get curious fingers, I'm cool with it. I got curious fingers myself, you know? <laughs> and you start walking around and shit. Oh, fell in the fucking pothole. You know what I'm talking about? I got a case of the curious fingers. <laughs> yeah, baby. You ever get the case of the curious fingers? <laughs> Only with consent. Only with consent. So you mean boring? <laughs> you ever made a girl come with consent? Not a chance, bro. You gotta do some uns- you gotta do some unsuspecting shit to make women come. You gotta be like, oh shit, what the hell? Just tickle their armpit or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. You know, uh, what, Keep Olivia, them guessing, brother. Olivia mentioned earlier that it would be safer if everybody walked around with helmets on. And I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. The way people fucking Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Pat up. Baby, <laughs> we've got a case of the curious fingers. Yeah, Ryan can't come unless they have blue hair and half a head shaved. He's from California, you know. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I like that. I thought it was funny. No, no, I, I like that. <laughs> he says, I like it, but my Twitter says, fuck you. <laughs> Just the comment section. Yo, I got an argument with a lady today on fucking Facebook. All I said was like, hey, just tell just tell the truth. <laughs> she was like, why does he have to tell the truth? He shouldn't have to tell the truth. People should just fucking know everything. What a crazy concept that we live in. Like everyone's just uh, supposed to like be normal from the fucking get-go, you know? Like we're supposed to know every fucking thing, how to act around whoever, you know? Oh man, it's a battlefield. I think there's a song about that. Love is a Battlefield by Pat Benatar. Nice, dude. I wish I could remember shit. <laughs> I can remember and I remember movie quotes, but I will not remember like to pull the the my soap. No, my shampoo bottle when it's empty. I will never remember to remove that out of my fucking shower, dude. That shit stuck in there for three months, at least. I can't remember to do that and pull it out, dude. And there's two things I can't do. Lamar <laughs> DeFour has one minute. Uh, yeah. Sex jokes, we're just talking about doing it. Have you been doing it, sir? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say words. He just said... He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He doesn't. He's like, dude, I'm above six foot. I get puss, all right? <laughs> I get puss. 
And you got a beard and you got a toboggan on in 80 degree weather, dude. You better be getting laid, you know? <laughs> like sweating and shit. I'd be sweating my ass off in fucking toboggan, dude. I'm wearing shorts and sandals. This dude's ready for the winter storm. <laughs> it's a storm! I don't know, is there a song for that too? Alright, my name is Lamar. Give it up to Lamar to follow me. Adam Moore is not funny. You can follow him on all his social media and uh, platforms of that nature. Oh, cool. uh, we've got one more comedian. Uh, thanks for hanging out for the show. And I would say give it up for all the comedians that you've seen, but we've clapped enough. We've clapped enough. <laughs> I'm worried sometimes that people are going to get some weird clapping disease, like they slap their skin pores together too much. Now, I can't sweat. I've clapped too much or some shit like that. Uh, your next comment coming to the stage. Uh, this guy's very funny. Please give it up for Mick Franklin, everybody. Yeah. Clap for Mick. Yeah. Hell yeah. I've got a question for y'all. Have y'all ever thought about being in two different places at one time? Not like literally, but more like metaphorically speaking. You know what I mean? Like um, heaven and hell, or a dream and a nightmare. If you thought about your job, you might have been able to get there. I know my last job got me there. My last job was crazy. Mm -hmm. Picture this, I'm in a VIP room, getting paid $500 an hour, getting my dick sucked by three people. Yeah, they all had goatees. I mean, big ass, <laughs> big ass titties. Don't call me a gay dude, but if you do, call me a professional gay dude, goddammit. Seriously, I thought about telling you guys about my whole job using the AA approach. Like, hi, I'm regular Nick Young, and I've been paid to have sex with women, men, sometimes together, but usually other those at work. I was a real life gigolo. Not no magic mic bullshit. I was in balls deep. I mean, not literally. But check that. But sometimes literally. It was wild. I was using my dick as a form of currency for almost nine years. Sending out dick pics and jerk off videos for hundreds of dollars being flown to places like Miami and Los Angeles do private parties for thousands of dollars? Jesus. And you're still worried about the money or the price ranges? Well, fuck off. What are you, the IRS? And if you are the IRS, I apologize, and all that shit I just said was a lie. Seriously. Well, that means that I have a unique perspective on being a whore. And let me tell you, to have some fat, gross, monster of a man like Harvey Weinstein want to watch you masturbate? or perform oral sex on you for millions of dollars in movie roles? I'm here to tell you, shit's not that bad. Hashtag me too. Die, bitch. I want to be in Hunger Games. <laughs> even the small things. Couldn't even talk about it with friends, family. They all had questions, wanted to know the same thing. What's your job? What do you do at your job? I always got to give them the same answer. My job is gay. Do a bunch of gay shit. My friends said, one thing. Man, that sucks. I said, yeah, sometimes they do. I mean, you know, my job sucks in general speaking. Even the smaller things. Like, for example, I have my hands behind my back right now because I'm afraid if I grab the mic, I might start jerking it off or something. I don't know. Embarrass myself. PTSD or a penis tension syndrome. I don't know. Thank you, regular Nick Young. Give it up for Nick Young, everybody. Nick Young, that's regular Nick Young. There's nothing regular about him. I mean, could you imagine uh, the IRS giving a shit? Anybody that has a penis in here, imagine the IRS gives a shit about your dick. That's amazing. That's amazing. His dick is on the radar of the government. Give it up for Nick one more time. Clap for Nick. That's our show. Thanks for coming out to the mic. Uh, please come. Uh, what's up? Do I want to do a set? I mean, I've talked a little night. Do we? We have. Is anybody gonna fuck if I do a set? Should I do a set? <laughs> I know, I feel like a real cunt right now. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and talk to the mic. That's funny. <laughs> Get up for Nick one more time. I tell you, man. That's, um, it's, you know, it must be, you know, if, you're, if you're a male prostitute, when you take out your penis, you must wait for that moment. That's gotta be the aha moment. Let me take you. 
Look at my big prostitute dick. I'm a cocaine baby. Cool cocaine baby with a big old prostitute dick. <laughs> Who tells you that? How do you get into that? Somebody's like, see, hey, look at that dick. Well, that dick should be in, not porn. No, not porn. What, should, what is it? Your car? Prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I get blowjobs in a sedan so I can write that off. <laughs> like I can write, can you write the whole, is it like the home office expense where you can like, like if you only get blowjobs in the passenger and driver's seat of the car, can you write 100% of the car off or just the amount of the car off? Just the amount of the car off I take dicks in. That's it. That's it. That's all I can write off. H&R Block is like, it's about 45% of the car. Does the back seat lay down? Oh, okay. Well, okay. With 75% of the car. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. I like I like when my friends like my comedy. He, you know, it's, I, I have some friends, they don't like anything because they don't listen. A lot of people don't listen because they think they know everything. So when you're talking to people, a lot of times I see people pretending to listen. And, and even more than pretending to listen, I see them looking for an escape route. <laughs> I know it! I do the same thing, assholes! And sometimes I'm in conversations and I'm like, I will stab myself. I will stab myself rather than, you know, where's the nearest hospital? Yeah, yeah, where's the nearest ER? Just take me to West Florida. Leave me in the parking lot. Let me bleed out. No, 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 no. Tell me about, tell me that thing one more time about your dog and your friend. Or your friend's fucking dog. When you're telling people stories and you're like, you know, my friend who I know from, you know, Applebee's has a dog. That's too far removed for me to give a fuck. <laughs> tell me about your friend that works at Applebee's. Her friend has a dog. Unless, then, they, unless they tell you the dog's in the car while you're eating Applebee's with them. It's the like, dog's in the car? That's very serious. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. They shot out the windows. Yeah, because people don't, the dog, people in Florida, do you leave your dogs in the car in the summer? Just their gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> this is an open carry state for rodents. You can open carry a ferret if you want. What do you open carry? My cat has a gat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do I carry? God, it blows my mind. I, uh, this guy is a pet owner. That blows my mind. You really own a cat? <laughs> yeah, I used to. Is your cat vaccinated? Uh, no, no, I, but uh, I actually got COVID. I think it was for, <laughs> that was the only thing I kissed for those whole two years. That was it. Yeah. You yeah, what? Yeah. You fisted? it? No, kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss. Oh, yeah. Okay. If I fisted, it, it would just be a hand puppet. You can <laughs> That's right. What? Woo! Jeez. I felt that. <laughs> that's, that's what Kitty said. Kitty said, I felt that. <laughs> Kitty, Kitty, you can get... <laughs> Don't give your cat COVID. Whatever you fucking do, you perv. I gave my cat COVID. We did the puppet show, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm a good pet owner. A kid, a kitty lube is expensive. I'll tell you that much. A kitty what? Kitty lube. Kitty it's, lube is, is more expensive than regular lube. Kitty lube? Yeah. Okay. There's Jiffy lube and there's kitty lube. That's, that's separate entities. That's, they have that in Walgreens. You know, um, what do you, okay. <laughs> I was gonna talk about ice cream for a second. Yeah. One minute left. Oh, good, thank you. Thank you, Zach. One minute left. How do you get that mustache even? Who's up to? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, usually I just shave around everything that's not that. Right. Yeah. This guy's totally shaved down except for the stash. That kills me. You know, it's like, I don't have any hair except for right here. Hey, where'd you get that shirt? Uh, from uh, Johnny Depp's collection yeah. of snakes? <laughs> and Amber Heard shit in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can smell it. <laughs> you want it? Okay. How'd you get that hair? From my mom, you motherfucker. It's weird. <laughs> she leave it in her Jesus. 
I'm gonna get done with this set and when I finish, somebody follow this guy out to the parking lot and explain, <laughs> explain fucking science to him. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, that's the show. Thank you guys for coming out. Please come out next Tuesday. Tell your friends about the show and give it up for Zach. You have arrived. Right. Clap for all the comics that you saw it on the show. Clap for Billy. Clap for everybody. Yeah, Billy. That's right. Brady. Brady. Everybody's coming. Everybody's clapping. Good, good.